carrot cake is a favourite and these carrot cake cupcakes don't disappoint. A soft and fluffy cupcake topped with the tangy cream cheese frosting, you'll absolutely love these. Welcome to Recipes by Karina, where I share with you how to make classic and simply delicious recipes. Make sure to subscribe or follow my page for a new recipe each week. To start making the cupcakes, in a small bowl crack in 3 medium sized eggs. Like with all baking ingredients, make sure these are at room temperature, but if you do store your eggs in the fridge like me, just remove them about an hour or so before you start baking. This recipe for carrot cake cupcakes is slightly different to my original carrot cake recipe which is an absolute favourite of mine and one of my most popular recipes. The mixture is a little thicker but the flavour is 100% the same so if you do want to make a carrot cake instead I'll leave the link in the description box below. To the eggs, measure out the oil. We want to go with a light flavourless oil here, like canola, vegetable or sunflower. Try to stay away from olive oil for this recipe, as it tends to have too strong of a flavour that will transfer through to the finished cupcakes. We'll need 2 thirds of a cup or 160ml. If you'd like the full recipe for these carrot cake cupcakes, it'll be on my website, as well as the full measurements listed in the description box below. Lastly, for the wet ingredients, we'll need a cup and a half of white granulated sugar, or 300 grams. You'll notice I give the recipe amounts in metric and imperial, cups, grams, ounces and mils, so no matter where you live in the world, you should find this recipe easy enough to follow. You might be thinking sugar is a dry ingredient, but most of the time in baking, it's considered a wet ingredient. Adding it to the wet ingredients instead of the dry ingredients helps inhibit gluten formation, which in simple terms helps your baked goods turn out light and fluffy. Using a whisk, give the wet ingredients a good mix together until well combined. Set the bowl to the side while we work on the dry ingredients. In a larger mixing bowl, start by measuring out the flour. You need one and a half cups or 190 grams of standard oral purpose flour. You can use the sip here if you would like, but I usually skip this step unless I can see that my dry ingredients are quite clumpy. This carrot cake cupcake recipe will make a perfect set of 12 cupcakes, but you can double or half the recipe to make a different amount. The same goes for the cream cheese frosting, but if you do have any leftover, you can keep it in the freezer for about 3 months. It works perfectly over cinnamon rolls for a weekend brunch. To the flour, we'll need to measure out the remaining dry ingredients, the baking soda, ground cinnamon and salt. We'll need 1 teaspoon of baking soda, make sure not to confuse the baking soda with baking powder here as they are two different ingredients. We're using baking soda in this recipe as it will react with the acids from the carrot. Without the carrot we would need to use baking powder as it contains an acid in itself. Add the baking soda to the mixing bowl followed by 1 teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Finally, add half a teaspoon or a few pinches of salt. Using a wooden spoon, give the dry ingredients a good mix together until evenly combined. Our last ingredient that we need for this recipe is grated or shredded carrot. We'll need about 2 cups or 200 grams, about 3 small or 2 medium sized carrots. Make sure to grate or shred your own carrots for this recipe. Don't use pre-shredded as we need all the moisture in the carrots. Add the shredded carrots to the mixing bowl with the dry ingredients and pour the bowl of wet ingredients over the top. 
Using a wooden spoon, fold the cupcake batter together just until you no longer see any dry flour. We don't want to overmix here as that can cause a gluten development which will turn the cupcakes tough and dry. Let me know in the comments below your favourite cupcake flavour. For me it would maybe be a tie between simple vanilla or these carrot cake cupcakes with cream cheese frosting. I have so many cupcake recipes, anything from chocolate to salted caramel on my channel so make sure to take a look for other flavours. Take the bowl of cupcake batter and using a cookie scoop or if you don't have one a quarter cup measuring cup actually works really well. Divide the cupcake batter between 12 cupcake liners. Only fill them about two thirds of the way full so they have room to rise. Place the cupcakes into a 180 degree celsius or 350 degree fahrenheit oven for about 25 minutes or until the cupcakes spring back when lightly pressed in the centre. Remove them from the oven and leave to cool in the pan for 5 minutes before transferring to a wire rack. While the cupcakes are cooling we can whip up the cream cheese frosting. Using a stand mixer or a hand mixer, add in your room temperature cream cheese. Make sure it is at room temperature here or you'll have quite a hard time whipping it. Turn your mixer on to medium speed and whip the cream cheese for a few minutes until soft. Add in the butter and whip again for a few minutes until light and fluffy. Add the powdered confectioners or icing sugar. These are all the same ingredient, just different names in different parts of the world. You should end up with a fluffy, smooth bowl of cream cheese frosting. Add the frosting to a piping bag or use a knife to spread over the cupcakes. Top with chopped walnuts and enjoy. These are some of the best carrot cake cupcakes you'll ever eat. The cupcakes are light, soft and fluffy and top with the most delicious tangy cream cheese frosting. One of the best cupcake flavours. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.